Hey, this is Linus. What's up? It's pitch dark and I'm using the night vision camera, which is a pretty cool idea. I mean, it's not an invention or something, but for me, it's, it's a new thing. I've never tested the night vision camera and it's pretty cool because I can't even see where I'm going. It's not every day that we review night vision cameras, but the one made by Togard got my interest since it's quite a nice product. I've used it for quite some time, find out if it's any good in the full review. The camera ships with some paperwork, TV out and micro USB cable, the mounting strap and a remote control. When it comes to the looks, the Togard camera sports a plastic camouflage design. It does not look premium, but it does not look cheap either and the camera is IP54 certified, meaning that you can use it in all sorts of weather conditions. The main purpose of this camera is to capture videos or take images at night automatically or manually for surveillance, hunting, scouting or other purposes. On the front, we have a 12 megapixels camera with a 120 degree wide angle lens. Also, there is a PIR sensor and 48 non glowing IR sensors that help capture that night footage up to 20 meters, but we will see how it works a bit later in this review. Also, there is a 2 inches display which acts as a viewfinder. However, it is not a touchscreen panel. The camera can be only controlled using the remote control. The user interface is pretty straightforward. You can adjust a few settings, select from different default shooting modes, or view the videos the camera captured. On the top, we have a 6 volts power input part, and on the bottom, there is a mounting screw. If you open up the bottom lid, you will find the power switch. If you put the switch to the on position, the camera will enter the auto recording mode. If you use the test mode, you will be able to control the camera manually. The Togard camera can be powered either by using 8 or 4 AA type batteries. The device has an impressive standby time of 3 months. During my review time, I managed to drain only 30% of power while using the camera in both auto and manual modes. As for image quality, it is definitely not the best, but this camera was not designed for production purposes. The auto mode captures blurry photos, but the manual mode does a much better job in pitch dark environments. This is the room where I usually shoot the videos. And well, I would say that if you can see the table, it's around like 3 meters from me. So we can see a little bit, if we get closer, you can see a much clearer image. The quality of 1080p video is pretty good for such a cheap camera. Obviously, there is lots of noise and compression artifacts going on, but you can see the objects quite clearly. However, I would not be so sure about the range of 20 meters of this camera since the objects that are that far away can be barely seen. Also, we have to know that the camera has a limitation of 90 seconds per clip. The sound recording quality could be great, but you can hear a very annoying interference sound all the time. Here are some tripod parts, some phones, some Xiaomi phones. Uh, here's Nubia phone, Huawei Nova Plus, the box of the Galaxy 7 Edge, uh, some Bluetooth speakers, the Rode Video Mic Pro. Uh, all in all, the Togard night vision camera does a pretty good job given its low price. It has a decent design, simple user interface and a good battery life. Also, I love the fact that the night vision sensors are not glowing in the dark. And finally, the video quality is pretty good for surveillance purposes, but it is not really usable for production purposes. Same can be said about the image quality. Other shortcomings would be a 90 second video limitation and the fact that you can only control the camera with a remote controller. 
At the end of the day, the Togard camera may be a decent starting point if you're in the market of cheap night vision cameras with quite a few features but you have to consider a few shortcomings before making a purchase. It was Linus, thanks for watching and see you in the next video soon.